Hello everyone, welcome to Mark Bank. Let us see how to make comparative and superlatives of, of words that end with ER. I'll say they have got EST somehow. What I'm gonna do with them? Let us say this is the first word. So adjective ending in E add R or EST. So for comparative, what do we use? We add ER, is it not? And for superlative, we add EST. And if your word already has got E, you should not be adding another E. You will simply be adding R and you will simply be adding ST. For comparative and superlative degrees. So I have got this word called finer. So finer has come from fine. So fine, finer and finest. This is what? This is this is safe. So safe ends with E. And hence, if you're gonna make comparative degree of safe, that would be you are going to add only R, not ER. So this becomes safe, safer, safest. And likewise for large, since it is ending with E, the comparative degree of large is larger and superlative degree is largest. So adjectives, so you probably you must have understood that if your adjective is ending with E, what is that you need to do? Adjectives ending in consonant Y lose Y and add IER and IEST that you understood in the previous video. Now we have got we have got this is lovely, lovely, and then we have got lucky and we have got pretty so y for sure will get eliminated and for comparative we are going to add er and for superlative we are going to add iest right so lovely is lovely lovelier and loveliest lucky is lucky luckier and luckiest, pretty, prettier and prettiest. I hope that you are getting the rule. Now the third is adjectives ending in a single vowel plus single consonant double the consonant. What is the meaning? You say for example I have got I have got say fit. I got fit. Fit ends with a consonant and the second last alphabet is I that is a vowel. How about sad SAD? It ends with a consonant but the second last alphabet is A that is a vowel. How about thin? N is a consonant and the second last alphabet is I that is a vowel. How about WET and this is hot. In fit, sad, thin, wet and hot, the last letter is an consonant and the second last alphabet is a vowel. And if we are going to make comparative and superlative of such adjectives, this last consonant will be added. So, fit becomes fitter and fittest. Sad becomes sadder. Can you see that there is additional D over here, additional T over here. Thin becomes thinner. Additional N. What is the case with wet? This is wettest. Additional T has been brought over here. How about hottest? Additional T has been brought. So what is this third rule? If your adjectives is and ending with a consonant and the second last alphabet is a vowel, 
while making comparative or superlative degree of these alphabets the last letter will be added one more times do we have the clarity okay so there are some irregular forms of adjectives as well because what if we learn that if there is one syllable adjective we will be adding er for comparative and est for superlative if you have got two syllable adjectives we will be adding more and most to make it, it comparative and superlative but then there are some irregular forms they do not follow these rules that we talked about in these in these videos or slides let us see some more so some adjectives adverbs have irregular forms what are they say for example good bad and far so good is the comparative degree of good is better and superlative degree is best how about bad bad becomes worse and worst far farther and farthest they are called irregular forms they do not follow the rules that we just talked about and these are irregular forms that actually create problem in your sentence correction problem in the examination you must be going through the list of irregular forms of adjectives right i'm going to watch you in the next video where we are going to talk more about adjectives before watching this please make sure that you have gone through the list of irregular forms of adjectives there are many many words thank you for watching this if you got any doubt about this video please feel free to write us at faculty@rateofmarkbank.com bye bye and take care